Hello, hi, my name is Sid. This is a segment from Dr. Stork Productions. I enjoy looking around at the news, what's going on across our country, and I think we need a biblical response to the news out there. Uh, what does the Bible, what does God have to say about any of these things that are happening in our world today? Remember, if you look at the Bible and see what the Bible says about any issue, you are thus looking at what God thinks, because the Bible is God's mind written to the mind of man. That's what the Bible is all about. And uh, Fox is breaking some news today that's kind of interesting and kind of wonderful. All news isn't bad news. But in Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp signs a controversial heartbeat bill into law. That's just saying that once the heartbeat of a child is, uh, is, is uh, seen on a stethoscope, then that baby can never be aborted. It's got to be born. Governor George Kemp signed the heartbeat bill into law Tuesday, today, and he kept his campaign promise in signing the bill. That would be uh, House Bill 481, technically called the Living Infants Fairness and Equality Act. That's life for short. Okay, short for life. That will prohibit abortions in the state after the heartbeat is detected. Now, a friend of mine just passed away, and they knew he passed away. His body was or his life was gone out of him when his heartbeat stopped. So it seems logical to me that when you could tell the heartbeat is going on, that, that what, what is there is life. So this is a good bill. Uh, I think God would be pleased with this, very much so. Uh, in fact, that heartbeat could start as early as six weeks into the pregnancy. The bill does allow exceptions in the case of rape, incest, or the life, if the life of the mother is in danger. Those are the exceptions I would make, however, because even in a rape situation, which is sorrowful, which is pitiful, my heart goes out to the young girl and the baby later. But on the other hand, if you kill the baby, is it the baby's fault how he or she came? I don't think we ought to take the life of an infant in the case of a rape because it's not the baby's fault. That doesn't make a hill of beans sense. Um, anyway, so the case of rape or incest even. Okay, it's not the uh, baby's fault how he or she came here. So it doesn't do any good to kill a baby in the uh, incident of a rape. In fact, it might even do more harm later to the mother who now has to uh, have a lifetime feelings that she was raped and going through all the problems of that emotionally, but also compounded knowing she killed the baby that would have been produced by that rape. So now we have placed her in two situations, not just one. Anyway, so hats off to Brian Kemp. Thank you there, Georgia Governor. I wish North Carolina had a governor like Governor Brian Kemp. God bless you today. Please share my little broadcast here with others. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and look through my channel for other things that you might interest you. This is all for now. Thank you for joining me in Dr. Stewart. Productions. God bless you and God bless America.